Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, today I'm doing a monthly favorites, which are like the products that I've been loving this past month and that I totally would recommend to you um, because I grab them on reach form all the time. Um, but yeah, uh, if you want to see, then just stay tuned. Also, if you like in this makeup look, if you if you're digging the the glitter liner and the super edgy vibe I'm giving off, then um, go check out my other video. I will link it in the description if it's already up. If not, then just subscribe and that way you can see it when it comes out. Yeah? <laughs> um, but anyway, I guess I'll just get started. My first favorite of the month. These are in no particular order at all. I'm just grabbing them off my table. But the first one is this Coconut Skin Smoothing Smoothie Priming Moisturizer from um, First Aid Beauty. Yeah. Order. It's just that glare. I from know. The light. ring line gives it a glare. It's not better. <laughs> <laughs> I tried. I'm not a guru. Um, no, I love this primer. It gives, or I use it more like a moisturizer slash primer. I use this every day to get ready to go to school, like for my foundation for school. I don't wear a lot of makeup when I teach because my second graders do not care what I look like at all. Imagine that. Um, but this makes my skin just glow. It looks so healthy and good. And so I've been really loving this under foundation or by itself. You're making so much noise. <laughs> I've been really loving this um, as a primer and as a moisturizer, both either or multi-use product. Extra fabulous. Love it. Um, next product that I've really been enjoying is the Too Faced Peach Perfect Foundation. And this is in the shade Warm Nude. Um, the shades in this foundation are so weird. So weird. Normally, I'm like a warm beige or something. But these were like super dark for me to be in a nude that's normally before a beige, right? Like when, yeah. I'm making sense, kind of, sort of. I don't know. Anyway, regardless, the shades in this suck. So you have to go into the store and find your shade. Um, but I love the pump on it. I like that it's a medium coverage. It smells amazing. And um, it lasts. I mean, it says it's a 14 hour wait. 14 hour wear. Blah. Um, but it lasts all day on my face. And that's, some, that's saying something. Especially right now because my air conditioner is out in my classroom. <sighs> my classroom is currently 80 degrees. That's a whole other story. But anyway, this is staying on while I'm sweating in the classroom. So I highly recommend this. Love it. And I have oil, combo oily skin. So for it to work on me, says a lot. Says a lot. Um, the next product that I'm going to tell you about <laughs> looks disgusting. Um, this is the Wet n Wild Contour Stick in the shade Oaks on You. They have three shades. I have all three. This is my favorite. It's the lightest. Um, but it's got like a warm undertone. It's not super cool. It's more neutrally warm, I guess I should say. Um, but I love this too. Cream contour when I'm going all out, like looking full glam beat. Yes, love this. It helps me not use so much powder bronzer and powder contour so I don't look so powdery and like cakey on my contour area. Um, so I've been really loving this. Um, really into the cream contour right now. Something a little different, you know. Shaking things up a bit. My next product, I guess. Um, I used it in my first two videos and that's because I use it like every day. As an eyeshadow or as a um, face highlight. But that's the Oprah Rodeo Drive highlight. It's gorgeous. Gorgeous. Blinding. Can you see that? Is it reflecting? Yeah. It's so pretty beautiful and I'm a gold highlight kind of person like 
I'm all about that golden glow. I think it's stunning. Um, it looks so wet and reflective on the skin. And every time I wear it, people comment on my highlight. And that says something to me. So, totally recommend. Love. Um, this is the Huda Beauty Lip Strobe. And this is in the shade Angelic. And I bought this because Casey Holmes talked about it in one of her videos. And um, I love her. Uh, she has oilier skin and she is beautiful. And anything she suggests, I'm like, I need it. So I went out and bought it. <laughs> bought it. And uh, okay. my camera died. And uh, I had to wait for a charge. So I need to watch. Um, but it just, it's pink and gold and nude and glowy and glistening and beautiful and everything I want in my life and when I put it on my lips they look so luscious I'm obsessed A++ these lashes bro dude let me tell you these are the Ardell Faux Mink they're super affordable at Ulta or Walmart wherever you can get Ardell um, I buy mine from Ulta because I like to get my points when I can get my points, you know. Um, but these are the Faux Mink. And the band on these is incredibly thin and so comfortable. And they look super dramatic right here, like on. But I have them on right now. These are obviously a fresh new pair. These are used. But um, they just look so pretty. They look natural if you're wearing natural makeup. They look dramatic if you're wearing dramatic makeup. These are my new favorite lashes, and they're affordable, and I can't get enough. So, if you need to get me a Christmas present, this is it. This is it. <laughs> love these. Love, love, love. Next product is um, a mascara, and it's actually one I mentioned in another video. Um, this is the L'Oreal Lash Paradise. It The tube looks like the Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara and the wand is similar and the formula is similar similar if i can speak um that's what it looks like i don't know if you can see that probably not what is um best drugstore mascara ever um l'oreal and maybelline make the best mascaras i don't see the point in spending and getting a higher end mascara because these are so good and they're so affordable um, but this gives me so much volume and so much length. I look like I'm wearing fake lashes when I'm not. Easy to get off. The waterproof is hard to get off. So pick your poison. Um, love this. Fabulous mascara. My next product is not a product. It's a tool. And um, it's actually, <laughs> you can tell I've been using it a lot because the, the name is wearing off. I don't know if you can see that, probably not. Um, but the name, the logo's wearing off on the actual thing because I use it all the time. I use this every day. This is the Vamp Stamp. And um, I bought the Vamp Stamp Ink liner to go with it, which is like a cushiony liner. Um, but you just, this is to help you do your wing. If you haven't watched a video on it, watch it. I really suggest watching um, Stephanie... I'll have to link her video below. Um, she gives this product justice. Everybody else that I've seen talk about this product talks about how horrible it is and it's not useful. No, this product is amazing. There is a learning curve. And once you get past that learning curve, this is a phenomenal thing to use every day. You dip it into the ink eyeliner and then you just pop and you have your wing. And then you just use another liner to connect it or you can use this with a brush, whatever. This makes wing eyeliner so easy. It's so easy to get them on. They're even because it's a stamp. Um, they're perfect. And I don't have to spend 30 minutes every morning trying to do wing eyeliner if I want to wear it to school. It's literally a two second pop pop. Good to go. And I look glam. Like I tr actually tried. But it wasn't that hard because of this. So I 100% recommend. This is the kitten size. Um, and it's it can be pretty dramatic. I mean, it's it's a little bit um, less than the wing that I have on right now. This would probably be more like the medium size. Um, but for every day, the kitten is perfect. And I have, like, slightly hooded 
eyes, this, this is the perfect size. I wouldn't get any bigger. If I want to make it bigger, I can with this, you know? So next product is, um, or I guess are these earrings right here. These are so cute, aren't they? They're little teardrops, but they're super lightweight. It's like leather, um, but they're leopard print. How adorable are these? They're so cute. Um, they are so cute. Every time I wear them, my kids comment on them. They love them. Um, the teachers in the school comment on them. I love them. Love them. And they're so comfortable to wear. These are um, actually made by um, one of my family friends, Anna Goodnight. These are phenomenal. And she made these. And my mom is the one that gave them to me. My mom got a pair. My aunt got a pair. And I got a pair. Amazing. I want red i want blue i want black i want gold i want them all and i want to wear them all the time they make me feel glam without trying too hard because i can wear like a black shirt this and colored jeans and then i look like i attempted in the morning and it was easy my life anna is gorgeous and she's so sweet and kind-hearted all right my next product is not beauty related at all it is actually my um k cup that i use every day and this is the green mountain coffee caramel vanilla cream this stuff so good um i mix a little bit of half and half and then splenda or sugar depending on how i am feeling that day and um love this i put it in this cute little cup isn't this precious one of my students gave this to me i'm obsessed but i um can fill this up with coffee take it to school i'm good for the day just this flavor is really good um if you it's sweet definitely um which i like sweeter coffee but if you like sweet try this super good it sounds like a little maraca give her down again <laughs> This video is a struggle bus to film, but it's okay. Um, the Tyler Candle Automobile Little Scent Booster do that things. <laughs> um, I, if you like a Tyler Candle scent, find it in this and then have your car smell like it. That's all I have to say. They're amazing, fabulous, and they're really inexpensive. Tyler Candles are expensive for a candle, um, and they're like never on sale, but this is like 225 and it lasts in your car forever and they smell amazing my favorite scent is diva and high maintenance imagine that <laughs> the two words that describe me the most <sighs> um <laughs> but they're fabulous I highly recommend them i love them perfection to a t okay now for my song favorites because everybody wants to listen to the music i listen to i just know it the first one the one i've really been digging most recently is by post malone and it's called i fall apart and there was a video that was going around on facebook and it was him singing at a concert and that's when i heard it and i was like who what song is this like i've never heard the song i don't know if it's new or if it's old but i'm really into it it's fabulous <laughs> Alexa could play the whole song and she'd play it a lot better. That was really cringy to listen to, but over my phone. Um, get you in feels, man. This is Dua Lipe. Lip I'm butchering that name. I just know it. Every fiber of my being knows that that name is so said incorrectly. But um, this song, yes, girl, get it. Emily's dancing in the background too. It's a jam. What's the new slang? It's a bop. <laughs> um, all right guys, uh, that is it for my monthly favorites. Um, if you like it, give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more monthly favorites, which I can have every month, obviously, give it this video a thumbs up and let me know in the comments below. Go ahead and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And um, I guess I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.